What's happening everybody? I hope you're all good. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I measure and cut my bands. And that will include how I figure out my active and how I figure out my length, the whole process. Now, bear in mind that I shoot long draw like this. But if you shoot anchor, it'll be the same principle. So keep it locked. What we're going to do here is lay out a piece of the band that you're going to be using and then you just draw on one centimeter and then you stretch that so this one is just shy of a seven ratio so I'm going to call that 6.8 and every time you, you use a new piece of band or a different brand or what have you measure that the stretch ratio and you can work out your length of the band because every single band is different right so what we're going to do to measure your draw length we're going to get a piece of paracord or string or anything like that we're going to put it on the top of the catapult and just hold the catapult like you normally would just at the front like that and then what we're going to do is pull that out as if we're pulling out our bands so this would be if you were short draw this would be you pulling it to your anchor point but where I shoot long draw I'm going to pull it to my floating anchor point which I would say for me is somewhere around now so what we do next you keep your finger on that bit then you get your tape measure and you put it on your piece of cord there and then you run your hand down the cord if you can do it all the way all the better and then we'll see what numbers that on so that is round about 1300 mil so here's our calculation so 1300 which was your length divided by 6.8 which was the stretch ratio and then you add five on for the clips of your frame 15 for your tying onto your pouch and 30 just so it's not maxed out for decent band life and this comes to 241 all right so let's go so i've got my calculation here and i've got it at 240 i rounded it up to 240 rather than doing 241 what I'm going to do is roll out the band now I'm going to cut this to 240 so get the trusty rotary cutter nice always keep your band in the plastic bag make it last longer and I use just one of these I don't know what it is what is it a quilt and sew ruler I just find it <coughs> a bit easier for holding all the band down if you know what I mean than just a thin ruler um, yeah so I just use that as a cutting line really and I must say as well I've got myself an all singing, all dancing, old fa 60mm cutter. But I found that these blunt a lot quicker and don't give you as nice a cut. So I went back to the 45mm cutter and I like that a lot better. 
Right, so the next thing is figure out your taper, what you want to use. Um, and for this, I'm going to use 22 to 12. And I do use these taper cutters sometimes. But I haven't actually got one in 22 to 12. This one's 22 to 14. So I'm going to do it the old school way. And I'm going to measure it with a ruler. So what we're going to do is just go 22 to 12 all the way down both sides right then guys now you've got your taper sorted 22 to 12 12 22 12 22 and so on all the way along your sheet and then what i do i use my quilt and sew ruler and we cut these between each dot. So you don't have to press too hard with this. Just firm. And that bit's an off cut, so we throw that bit away. And then the rest will be our band sets. So you make sure you line up the dots nicely. You can also layer up two sheets on top of each other and cut and you'll get a directly matching pair each and every time but that can be a bit hit and miss sometimes it doesn't cut too well because you're cutting through two sometimes they might sort of move around on top of each other and things like that i mean you can wet them and hold them down together but i think this way is just straightforward and you can't go wrong. So what you'd do, you'd carry on and you'd cut the rest of these out. But I'm just going to do one for now just to show you how I do it. So what I'd do from here is we'd mark 15 mil on each 12 mil end. So each thin end will mark 15 mil because that's what I use to tie my pouches. pouches I like to use these pit pouches from sniper sling now these were the original ones they did um, change the material to this more orangey leather that was no good too stretchy and it stretched out these ones last a long time I'm not sure whether Min's gone back to this material but if it's the orangey one you don't want that you want this one and you can use various materials for tying. I mean, I've got this is some whipping twine, um, nano cord, wax thread, anything like that. And you can do what's called a constrictor knot. But I've experimented a fair bit, and I like to use this stuff. I don't know what this is called. Pouch tying thread. It's like elasticy stuff from China because I just think it's a little bit softer than the um, than using string and constrictor knots. I don't know if there's any fact behind that, but it just seems my bands last a bit longer when I use this stuff. So that's what I'm going to be using today. Get your scissors. Cut a bit of that off. I mean. It doesn't have to be a set length. This is about what? It's about two thirty mil, but like I say, I don't, I don't measure it. I just cut and go. And then you get these little pokey tools that come with pouches and band and all that sort of thing. I've got loads of them because they, they come with everything. 
and then what you do you feed in like that put your narrow end through pull it to your mark that you've marked on with pen same for the other end job done then you get your forceps put some tube on these because they're a bit sharp without the tube so always keep a bit of tube on there because you don't want to be cutting your your bands and then all you do I just fold straight over I've mucked around with this I've tried curling them and doing cylinders and all kinds of things in all honesty, all you have to do is fold it nice and neat like that. Put your forceps on the end like that. And then this is my band tying assistant. I think this was Sniper Sling maybe. Or Jesus K or I don't know. It was one of them Chinese shops. But these are very very good because you can just simply twist that bit and move it up and down so whatever size pouch you're using I've got this set up for my setup and you don't want to stretch that too mad just enough so you can get your your um, time material around now but you don't have to stretch too mad with that or else you'll uh, shorten the life of your bands and then all I do hold it like that and then just go over, under. And what I do, if you pull it down towards the bottom, you don't really get any bunching there. It's nice and smooth. And then I do about 10 wraps. I don't really count them anymore because I know roughly what 10 wraps looks like. And this is just how I do it. And then I'll just tie it, tie it again, and I'll give it one more for luck. And then cut your ends off. And you can singe the ends of these. To be honest, I don't really do this anymore. <laughs> but uh, it can sort of seal the ends <laughs> so they don't fray. And all that sort of stuff. There you go. So that's one end done. So you just do the same on the other end. And then that's how I make my band set. So you whack that on now, get your tie, and I'll just go like that, pull it down, and you want it so that it doesn't all snag up. And then you go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then tie it off one two three cut it Singe the ends because I've done the other end like that. And then all I do then, I trim these little ears down just a bit. I don't go too close to the knot. Some people do. I just like doing it like this. No reason really. I mean, if you've tied it properly, it shouldn't move at all anyway, but... For me, it just feels a bit safer that it's just got that little bit away from the knot. And there you go. That is how I'll make a band set.
So that's the end of the tutorial guys, thank you very much for watching and if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe for more content, give us a thumbs up and comment down below. Let us know what other tutorials or what other videos you'd like to see on the channel and I'll see you next time. Cheers guys.